It's raining. It's raining! Well, gotta get my special little boots on. Better get my special little boots on, then. Yes, boy, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving mechanic. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? <gasps> Fuck off, boy. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy -o? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. You smell... Oh. oh. That felt so me, good. Well, Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy. Poor in personal hygiene. Lacking in the finer qualities of... A... A gentleman. Uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Oh, this guy doesn't seem half bad. Seems like a loyal and kind-hearted person. Different. Hold on. Looting bodies. Uh, come on, then. Let's point this guy. A company Irish. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Choke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was the only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his knees ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, he always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who are stealing acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. I love the rain. Oh my god, I love the rain so much. I wanna know. Have you ever seen the rain? Touch my car and my keys all the way down to the end. Never mind. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. All right, Irish. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. Go and store it just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. All right. Sounds good enough. It looks like it's not that many guys over there. You ain't welcome here, mister. What? Ah, uh, you know... Come here, buddy. Poke your head out. Poke your head out. Poke your head out. Get out of here. You limping away, buddy. I can't shoot ya. Oh, he has a shotgun. Give me that. Dude, I got a shotgun. Holy crap. It's not here. That lion sack of shit. Oh, we're gonna have to kill Irish. Sorry, Irish, you're dead. You're dead, Boyle. Alright. We're gonna loot these dead bodies and then we'll get back to ya. <gasps> Mr. Wes Dickey, what's going on? You look like you're in a tough situation right now. Mr. Wes Dickey! Mr. Marston.
Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. Dude, I'm gonna fucking headbutt you. you. Insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something. Which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act. For you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. You <laughs> sucky best little shit. <laughs> He's laughing like a little fucking... Little fucking Girl Scout. Get the fuck out of here. I'm just kidding. I'm being super. I'm being super toxic. I shouldn't be doing that. But this guy really irritates me. But he's kind of funny at the same time. I'm not gonna lie. He's a little funny goofball. He's also a little jerk. Little jerk face. All right, let's go. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute? Chronic, sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, oh, This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day. Oh, you guys can keep the bottles. <laughs> I don't think you, you need it. Oh, don't shoot the horse, you fucker. You fucking asshole. I'm sorry, John Marson, but I don't like horses. Horses are not on my list. Horses are little beautiful little creatures. Massage on, massage on, massage on my balls. Massage on, massage on, massage on. Oh, shit. What happened to your hat? Bro, you dropped your hat, bro. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna listen to you right now. You're kind of not helping. Oh, I remember this. Wait, hold on. We gotta go. We gotta go from here all the way up here. This is gonna take a while. Oh, God. Ow, my balls, dude. So freaking itchy. Oh, guy's chasing us. That's right. Oh, headshot. Dude, I just got two headshots in a row. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, don't shoot the bird. Don't shoot the fucking bird. You saved the day again. Could have saved a lot of lives. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, yes, yeah, so perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're God, trying my patience, Mr. Damn West Dickens. It. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. <sighs> All right, Mr. West Dickin ass. Oh, we're going back to Mr. West Dickens because it's easier. I know this mission. This mission is just. He basically said it. We're just going to go do a race. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely, nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? 
Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head. I'm gonna sir. fucking kill myself, dude. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Okay. Well, that makes more sense. He wants money to build a car armored carriage. And it's like, you know, it makes- Oh, holy shit! Oh, no. Is that guy okay? How much horse pills do I- I have three horse pills. So we can just take horse pills and we can go really fast. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's not hit the people. Let's not hit the people. Perfect. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black. Three, two, one, go! And quickly pause. Give him more. Yeah. We're gonna quickly get up in the front, baby. Easy. Fucking easy. You have unlimited horsey power. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna need to take more horse pills. More horse pills. Perfect. And we're back to it. Oh my god. I have the power! Oh yeah! Yes! Oh, this guy's catching up. It's just catching up! Get away from me! Perfect. That was so he easy. Came, he saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? All right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Wait, is that it? Are we really done? <gasps> Are we really done? With Mr. West Dickey? How much money did he give us? Oh, wow. We got so much money. Hey, Irish. You fucking bitch! Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found you one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special he is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> It's the whiskey, sir. It gives me the memory of a newborn babe. As innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. He looks like a little elf. He looks like a tiny little elf. Come on, Dad. We'll find your precious gun. Excuse me. Little elf. 
Look at his rosy little elf cheeks, dude. Uh, no, no, not like, no, not, no, not, not. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us. Oh, Gap Tooth Ridge. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Oh, we're here. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. Easy there. Perfect. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. Hey, buddies. I remember I do not kill horsies. Horsies are little beautiful creatures. Go horsey, get out of here. Get out of here. Run. Let's go finish this. I'll kill you. I see that one running in the mines. I see you. you. Ain't getting away from nobody. I dropped a hundred fools like you. Looting body time. We're getting in the mines, fellas. Think you're better than me? You think you can outmatch me, baby? I am a tyrant and I will sink everybody's boat. You forgot one thing, little shit bird. I am the shit eagle and I will shit all over you. Perfect, we got full ammo again. We probably killed nobody with that, but whatever. Oh wait, we need that ammo. We need the ammo. Yeah! Ammo! Where the hell is this other guy? I'm like about to die. All right, no, no, we're good, we're good. All right, I'm gonna start looting because I need pistol ammo. We got ammo. All right, we're good. He was, dude. Irish was correct. There was a gun <laughs> in the caves. <coughs> Excuse me. Go up the mountain. Up, 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 up the mountain. Jesus, man. There's so much blood and this body's getting in my way. Holy crap. It's not wanting to move out of my way. We're going to have to get back it up. Then we're going to have to push it forward. Okay, we got it. Perfect. Oh shit, we're going downhill. Oh shit, dude, this is sick. Oh my god. No way, dude. There's Irish. 
<laughs> I thought I'd be looking at your carps being hauled up this lip. Load up and I'll engage the gears. <laughs> There she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed for Jambala. Meet me at the bottom of the hill. Okay, buddy. I uh, will do. Oh, this is awesome. Hello. Gotcha. Oh, I thought I killed him. Die. Dude, John Marson, you are a freaking sharpshooter, if you will. Oh, damn. That's what I'm talking about. Fat man thought he can trick me like that? No, sir. Have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. <gasps> oh, yes. Now we're gonna go talk to Irish, and this is gonna be the last mission, of course, because we're are coming up to 40 minutes. Irish, 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 Irish. Up, sister. I uh, Irish, you fucking little bitch. What are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, good. Blimey. I've come to tell you. If you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there! Oh, oh, oh Mr. Marston. Uh, how are you? Ashamed. Ashamed to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, that Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> Ah, come on. I know where we can find the parts for you. Ah, mother fucking Mary. <laughs> Don't double cross John Marston. I'm not here for that, what miss. You looking at? Huh? What you looking at? What you looking at? Get shit on, dude. Irish just dumped a fucking ton of load on your ass. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. <laughs> you're a booze blind coward. Shut the fuck up. And you're Irish. a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Easy, friend. Don't Christ, go getting off. The church has more money no, than anybody. Ain't nobody that Where are we going, Irish? Twice, just to the warehouse here in Keith no, Landing. Not. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hobble-tongued feller by the name of Shaky. 
And he's got the shaky. ammunition we need. Jesus, stop Why is his name Shaky? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. Wait, his gun? Wait, I'll... Is... Damn it. That stuttering bastard said this would be often. Oh, well, we'll go around the back. Shaky's probably waiting for us there. All right, Shaky. I don't want to walk the whole time. Can we run? No? Okay, we'll walk. Whatever. Well, we're here. Look at that. All right, we should be able to get in here. Stick with me and keep quiet. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh. Oh, oh, shite. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! Oh, oh that's why his name is Shaky. Exactly. And they're I making fun fight. of him for it? I'll fucking kill those you sons of bitches. And get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. Time to get There's our revenge for Shaky. All right, work your usual magic. Excuse Let's me, excuse me. I'm gonna go kill. I'm gonna go get, get our revenge for Shaky. We're gonna get revenge for sh 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 oh, fuck. That was fucked up what I just did. Why the fuck did I do that? I don't know why. Sliding down. Oh, Shaky is going to get his revenge. Ooh. Yeah, you stop at that, that those stairs, buddy. Okay, he's not even worth it. I'm going to give you just a good and hard. Damn it. You're going to die. Get dunked on, baby. Okay, we're gonna go free Shaky now. Shaky, my lad, we are coming for ya. Thank you for your kindness, Mister. I thought I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. Let's get some more ammo in this chest. How shall we, Shaky? Oh shit! There's a lot, a lot of guys here. Come on, Shaky. We're gonna. Let's call him Adam. Come on, Adam. There's a bunch more of them out by the by the crates. Sorry, yellow belly coward. Look out over there! I've seen something. You about to die, friend? Gotcha. Good job, Shaky. You're doing a lot of help. That wasn't sarcasm. I, I mean, Adam. Adam. Sorry about that, gentlemen. I mean, Adam. Did you just shoot me? I want to just call him Shaky. <gasps> oh, we did it, Adam. We did a good. You did a good job. Now we're even. Off even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 -sh. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you dirty f -f 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 fucking snake. Uh, b -b 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 All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, 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 fucking, fuck, 
Wait, we're going? Where are we going? This is a bad place to be oh, shit. Did I thought we were done. I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. Oh, oh, God. Damn, damn it. Perfect. All right. Well, they're gone, so we're good. Nope. There's more. Of course, there's more. We got it. Oh, he got headshotted, and these guys are gonna get headshotted. I think they're all dead. Nope, there's more. Anytime you want to shoot somebody, Irish, please feel free. Christ, more sons of bitches. Hell of a team, man, you We should consider making this a more permanent partnership. I think I've about had my fill of liars in this life, partner. Well, I think you're ready for part master. You've got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm going to need it. Bill Williams has got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. Oh, we did it. We did it. Now all we got to do is meet the marshal. And then that's when we raid the base. Once we raid the base, well, we'll see from there. But... I think that is it for today, so we'll raid the base next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>